Hello everyone, this is Lauren, aka Baked Up by Lo, and today I'm showing you how I make stuffed chocolate chip cookies. So we're starting off with our ingredients. I'm using a mix of dark brown sugar, about three quarter cups, and white granulated sugar, just about one quarter cup. I like to use a mix of sugars to balance out the moisture and the texture of the cookie. Next is our butter. I use about one third of a cup and I'm really particular with my butter. I like to use Lactancia's country churned unsalted butter, but you can use whatever butter that you have or that you would like. Next is vanilla. You can use vanilla extract or vanilla paste that's been soaked in essence water or coffee. It really just helps balance out the sweetness of the cookie and it helps gives it some actual flavor. And then we have one large egg at room temperature, not cold from the fridge. And we have our dry ingredients, some flour. I use one and a half cups and don't worry about any clumps right now. We're going to be whisking it up later. So we're going to get out all of those clumps. And now the leaveners we're going to be using three quarter teaspoons of baking powder and one quarter teaspoon of baking soda and using a mix helps the cookies rise and spread just the right amount and you're going to use just a pinch of table salt or about one quarter teaspoon now for our fun additives today i'm using reese's cups caramel filled m ms regular m ms and potato chips i know it's weird but it's really good trust me and to cut your candies or chocolates, I recommend using a serrated knife. Um, straight blade knives are much more dangerous in this case because they don't really grip onto the chocolate coating very well. So I'm using a serrated knife and just cutting into the caramel filled M&Ms. And you can see how easy it is. It's not too hard. If you're young, please get a parent or a sibling or somebody who's older than you to help you. Don't want you to get hurt. And now today to make the cookies, I'm using my KitchenAid stand mixer and a spatula. You can also use just a spatula or even an electric mixer. So first things first is creaming together our sugars and our butter. So I'm putting in my sugar and now I'm going to take my butter. And you want to make sure that your butter is soft at room temperature, not too melty. And a good way to test this, as you can see, is just by slowly pushing in a finger, a clean finger or your thumb. And um, if it makes a nice print, then you know that it's ready to go. And so I'm creaming these together at speed one. And you'll see me stopping every now and then um, throughout this video to scrape the bottom and the sides of the bowl. And this is very important. You want to make sure that no pieces of butter get left behind and everything is just very well incorporated before you add the rest of your ingredients. Your sugar and butter mixture is going to start to look like wet sand and it should hold a nice shape when you start to scrape it off of the bowl. Just like that. And now I'm going to add in my egg and my vanilla. And before we start, before you start, please make sure that you do not over mix your egg, butter, sugar and vanilla mixture. You don't want to step away. You don't want to look away, you want to be present when you're baking and you want to make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl. And now the reason I say that you don't want to over mix is because your egg, when it gets too much air incorporated into it, it can later fall flat when it reaches a high temperature. So you want to make sure that you don't over mix it. This can also curdle your butter because of the proteins in the egg. You want to avoid that. Please make sure you do not over mix. And you'll see a good way to tell um, is when you have a really nice smooth ribbony mixture and you'll see that just in a second.
and make sure again, scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl. Now I'm doing a final whipping at speed two. And now you can see that we have a nice, smooth, creamy, ribbony mixture, and we are ready to start adding in our dry ingredients. And so I'm adding in my leaveners to my flour, and I already put in my salt, and now we're whisking it together just to avoid any clumps. You want to add in your dry ingredients just a little bit at a time, no more than one quarter cup. And again, just making sure to scrape down the bottom and the sides of the bowl. The main reason you don't want to add all of your flour at once or too much at a time is because that can increase the gluten development of the flour and that can make your cookies really tough and you don't want that. You want a nice airy cookie, a nice fluffy cookie. And here you can see that we have a nice fluffy dough. At this point, you would add in your chocolate chips, but we're doing something a little bit more fun today. So I've separated my dough into three separate bowls because I'm making three different types of stuffed cookies. And first batch, I'm adding in my Reese's Cups, caramel filled M&M's, mini M&M's, potato chips, and I'm just mixing that together with my spatula. And once your dough is combined, you want to measure out your dough. I just eyeball it personally, and today I'm stuffing these cookies with mini pre-baked brownies. So I flatten out my cookie dough using my hands, just making it into a disc shape, and then I take my brownie, it's frozen, but I just put it in and I close the dough around the brownie. It's really that easy, and this dough is really fun because it's just all the things that you want from life. It's all the snacks that you want. It's got your sweet, it's got your savory. And now this dough is interesting because it has peanut butter chips, regular chocolate chips, and Reese's Pieces. I was just experimenting this day. I wanted to try out new flavors, different things. So here I am again, just flattening out the balls of dough in between my hands. And you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can add whatever you like. You can add peanuts, walnuts, rainbow chips, crushed Oreos, just be creative. And I am stuffing them with Reese's Cups. If you hadn't guessed already by the theme of the ingredients. And so again, I'm just placing that onto my disc of dough and just wrapping it and closing it around the chocolate. And I like to make sure that there's no gaps showing because that's gonna ensure that your chocolate doesn't spill out when it's baking. It shouldn't, but you never know, so just in case. And that's all you really need to do. And it's nothing too complicated at all. So now I'm just taking a small tray lined with wax paper and I'm placing my cookies onto the tray and then into the fridge for two hours to chill. And chilling your dough is going to ensure that they don't spread and fall flat or burn around the edges, 
when you're using um, softened or melted butter, in this case we're using softened, um, you want your butter to come back to the cold temperature because it's already been melted. So you need to reincorporate that cold air into the butter to ensure that, that your cookies are not going to spread. And I also made Snickers stuffed cookies. And if you want to check those out, you can head over to my page, to my Instagram page. And now that our two hours have finished up, we are ready to place our cookies onto our baking tray. So I'm just taking my baking tray and I'm taking a silicone mat. I really love using silicone mats. They're environmentally friendly, multi-use, multi-purpose. However, you can also use parchment paper and that works just as well. And so I'm just spacing out my cookies onto the mat and I'm just following the instructional line of the silicone mat. We're also going to be baking our cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And for me, my bake time is 16 minutes. Your oven may be less, it may be more. Just make sure to check on them at the 12 minute mark. And so in they go. And 16 minutes on the clock. And here they are, beautiful stuffed cookies. They smell amazing and they taste even better. The Reese's one came out so good, it's so delicious. Oh, and my favorite of all time, brownie stuffed, so good. On behalf of TMA and myself, thank you all so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.